you're saying that there's very little oil exploration in Ireland, but what's the story with the Whitegate oil refinery? Does it mean that oil, all oil is brought from overseas and yeah. oil tankers from... At, at the moment, um, um, although this is changing as Corrib comes on, on stream, as the Corrib gas field comes on stream, um, more than 90% of the gas requirements of the, comp of the country are imported and 100% of the oil requirements are Im imported, mm -hmm. either as refined, already refined products or as uh, crude oil into the Whitegate refinery. Mm. But w what do you think, in, in your opinion, of somebody who worked a lot with oil and gas, eh? do you think uh, how many more years uh, we have left, like, should we start looking for new sources of energy or what's what's your opinion as I, I heard on the news the other day that in some european countries they're planning to get rid of petrol and diesel cars by 2030 so to transfer completely to electric cars yes but so what, what do you think about this trend i i think it's fine um but where's the electricity coming from um we we have this idea that um, hydrogen and electricity and so on are clean and they are in the sense that they don't we don't end up polluting our thoroughfares but nevertheless the energy has to be produced mm -hmm. and at the moment our pro progression uh, to uh, renewables of all sorts um, is rather slow so uh, the percentage of renewable energy is very small comparative to... Yes, and, and, it, and worldwide it's hardly keeping up with the growth in population and demand. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to think in terms of how can we use our uh, fossil resource in such a way that we don't uh, damage the environment. And that's a real challenge. It's not impossible. There are short-term measures like uh, sequestering the uh, products in the uh, caverns or old gas fields or wherever. Um, but that can only be a short-term measure. We have to look at other means of uh, producing energy and I don't mean just in terms of building more windmills or so I mean it, we've got to look at a whole gamut of research mm -hmm. um, as to how we can achieve this both in terms of wave power um, tidal power uh, you know there are many possibilities out there uh, but probably to produce devices which are used in wind power or tidal power, you need to use oil and gas still, like to produce those well, engines uh, and. Well, pass yes, off to, the to some water. extent. I mean, we have to face up to the fact that at the moment, worldwide, we use about 95 million barrels a day. Um, and, and a barrel would have 42 US gallons in it. So that's a great deal of um, oil uh, equivalent each day. And, uh, in addition to a, a lot of coal. So that we shouldn't fool ourselves that we could just say, oh, well, let's go to renewables and it's going to happen overnight. It's going to be a, a long, hard struggle and it's going to need a lot of ingenuity and a lot of research mm -hmm. and a lot of funding. Mm -hmm.